Hello everybody, today I'm going to show how to cut a true bespoke suit. The true bespoke suit has to be made with a very very fine fabric. I have an example here, that's from Dorme. It's called Ambassador Dorme Super 180. This is one of the finest fabric from Dorme. This is like a Lamborghini of uh, the cloth. <laughs> so, I love to work with very good fabric. I have Emergil Dozinha and Dorme, two types of fabric. This fabric is one of the finest fabric from Dorme, like I said. Uh, for a suit, cost more than $4,000. So, I can afford to make a mistake when I market. And this has to be 99% uh, fit on a person when it's a first fitting made. And the fabric what I order, I always order it fresh from a factory and uh, it's come in a week when I order it uh, from Europe and never keep old fabric in my shop. So I always work with the latest. Uh, they, every year they have new books which is hundreds of swatches in a book and uh, this way we getting the latest or best uh, what I love to work with, which is this is a true bespoke. Uh, you have to have a best cloth for a true bespoke, otherwise not worth it to put all the work into it. So here I'm gonna show you how to cut the true bespoke. Now, when we start with the bespoke, we have to create a pattern. Uh, when I learned this trade, we didn't create a pattern. We created a suit right on the fabric. Uh, because uh, the average person those days have one or two suits in a lifetime. Uh, now we have five, six suits each year for one of my clients. Uh, so now when I create a pattern, first I always start with the back, never with the front, because I steady the person. When a person stands straight, like this, the back have to follow his back straight or he, if he goes like this the back have to be curved more down then make a front also to lower so that's why we start with the back uh, when I do the back the waistline always have to be square especially if it's checked this, this time it's a stripe fabric but if it's a check, it must be like that. Otherwise, a check wrong, runs a wrong way. When I'm cutting a striped suit, you have, I have to be sure the cut on the chest it falls right on the stripe. So this way, when I create the chest, the stripe stays straight, not curvy because it looks very bad on the suit. You have to take a silhouette from a side. The stripe has to be straight. So, I already measured this in. I'm not going to mark it. It's already marked in. I just want to show how it goes. This pattern is checked when I create the pattern. It's checked for the measurement, so it should be perfect. There. Here we give one inch outlet for the first fitting. The rest I all marked already, so this way I can show you more cutting. Just put the pattern inside. When I'm cutting a fabric, we have to shape the fabric. 
so this way it's falls into the right position and don't have a crooked front. Then we're cutting a suit, we have to be sure we cut the top color out because that it can split. So now we're gonna we're going to split our fabric. Now we have to put stripe on stripe. This is very important, especially for the front. The good fabric, the stripe is usually good from the front to the back. Like this is, like I said, this is one of the finest fabric. The stripe looks very nice. This is very important when we, when we cut the suit. The pants it's cut already and it's made already. The stripe is very important on the back also to match a top color. And then at the back, when we're matching a back, a stripe on the back, we always have to pleat the stripe, right on the stripe. We can't go between, otherwise, like I said, the uh, top color don't match the stripe. And then I cut it, I always keep checking it. This is just outlet for the first thing. Then after I'm going to put the indicator stitch. So 
of that we can always get more here to I plug a little bit on that for now until I turn this. Here too I'm going to put the indicator stitch up there for the monitor sleeve for the outlet. I love to work with this fabric. It's, it's, it's beautiful. And this kind of fabric lasts, I can see forever. You pay for quality. And the workmanship, which is going to go into this loading canvas, no glue whatsoever. Tailors usually have problem with the sleeve. This, I have a special way to measure the armhole, and they should come 100%. Even if I have to. Lower the armhole, I can recut the length of the sleeve so this way fits right into the armhole 100%. And this area, top of the sleeve, had to run with the stripe. So when the sleeve puts in, we have a beautiful straight line. Now we have got the top of the sleeve. That's very important to have a nice beautiful curve and run. That's what makes the sleeve top of, uh, top of the sleeve beautiful. Uh, it can be crooked, so it has to take time on this can rush on that one. I have to go with the uh, speed, uh, of course, but just take the top of the sleeve. That's the most important thing on the suit. I finished my true bespoke suit, which is a Dormi Ambassador. It's a fantastic fabric to work with. The true bespoke suit should fit you like a glove. The chest, the shoulders, the sleeve, have to be 100% made for you, which is what I did. The length of a sleeve, not too short, so this way shows a little bit of end of the shirt. The sleeves, on top of the sleeves, have to be nice and smooth, not pulling. The back, the back, the side vents have to flow, not pull. The style I made is with a ticket pocket, which is a traditional British look. Beautiful, very elegant. Inside, have a contrast, nice contrast. Sharp looking. The pants have to fit you like a glove. At the same time, you need room to move. But it's still classy. I'm really happy with that. I think it turned out very nice. And all my suit for my clients look the same, even if you're bigger or you're a smaller person. When you have your true bespoke suit on, you know you look good. You feel good, you feel comfortable, confident, and you're ready to do business. Bye. See you later on.